Hi, I'm Miguel, golf expert with Curated, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Mizuno Pro 223 Forged Iron. First off, I'm not sponsored by any brand, so I'm giving you my honest opinion. My first impressions of this club, it's aesthetically beautiful with the brushed chrome, the thin sole, and the thin top line. So at a dress, it looks very classic, and I like that. Whenever you miss it, you're gonna feel it. Um, it's not as forgiving as other clubs, but to contrast that, when you hit it right, it feels amazing. In the 223 clubs, the shorter irons, like this nine iron, are a single piece forging of 1025 steel. And there's not a lot of technology in this particular club, but as you go into the longer irons, they do have a micro cavity slot that's been milled into the back and then an insert, which helps absorb some of the vibrations that impact. I can tell you this though, if you don't hit this club exactly where you need to on the sweet spot, you're gonna get negative feedback. So it's a little cold out here. A couple of times I didn't hit it properly and it stung in my fingers. This is a skilled player's iron. It's not a distance iron. This is a club for somebody who wants to work and shape their ball going very aggressively at pins in the green. So if you see a tuck pin on the right and you wanna go after it with a nice fade, you're gonna be able to do that with this club because it's very workable. That thin sole allows you to manipulate the head through impact and put the right spin that you want on it. It's not gonna boost you from far away. It's not designed to do that. It's not gonna mute the feeling. It's not gonna soften the feeling. It's it's already forged, so it's gonna feel smooth, but only if you hit it right. So the Mizuno Pro 223 line is offered in a four through gap wedge option. So it's not uh, for someone who's looking for a two or a three iron, it's just not available in the set. Here today, I, I've got two clubs in my hand. The first one is the Mizuno Pro 223, which is a new design by Mizuno, and then also the Mizuno 220, 225. Caveat to this is, these are player irons. These are not meant for high handicappers. There's complete different design, as you will see. One is more of a cavity back. Uh, the other one has more of a blade look. This is the 223 club is really for players. And those are gonna be the low to mid handicappers. Uh, the 225 has more of a blade look, um, but it's gonna be, again, for those handicappers who might be five to 10. Uh, if you're over 10, these probably aren't the two, two clubs clubs for you. One of the things that Mizuno is known for, in the lower irons, the club face is a different metal than the nine through, nine through pitching wood. And that's unique to Mizuno. And so these two right here are gonna be more of along the hot metal line that they came out with a few years ago. This is the Mizuno Pro 225 seven iron. My initial impressions of this are a fantastic club. It looks small, it's got a relatively thin sole, relatively thin top line, but it felt really forgiving. So even on my missed hits, it went relatively straight. Not as far, but straight, which is more important. Uh, my overall first impressions are it is beautiful. It looks very much like a blade. You don't see a cavity back, all the technologies inside. So it is considered a player's distance club and it is gonna help you with forgiveness and distance, but you don't see any of the technology. So it looks like a classic blade. It's stunning in its aesthetic appeal. In this lineup with the Mizuno Pro 225, Mizuno has said that they have gotten better forgiveness and distance than their past MP models in a smaller package. So it gives you, gives you the look of a more classic blade and less of a game improvement, but it gives you all the benefits of it. So you get the looks of a classic blade, but you get the game improvement benefits of the technology. I like the brushed steel look of this club. Out here in the desert, you can't tell because of the clouds, but it gets very sunny. And when clubs have a polished chrome, they really reflect like a mirror. This won't do that. It dissipates the light a little bit. Um, and it's just easier on the eyes. In the 225 lineup, this is a grain flow forged chromoly metal. So it's stronger than the 1025 steel, but it's forged so you get that soft feel. That's certainly something that's gonna help with ball speed and increase that distance. The Mizuno Pro 225 iron, as I said earlier, does have some game improvement technology in it. 
a slightly bigger head than the 223, which means it's gonna have a little bit more perimeter weighting. Inside this hollow body cavity is tungsten weighting to put the center of gravity lower and deeper in the sole to get that ball airborne. So if you struggle with trajectory getting higher launch, this is gonna help you do that. Now, with that weight being down there, it also adds forgiveness. This is gonna have a slightly thicker top line and a thicker sole than the 223, but that's what's gonna help you feel a little bit more confident and give you that more forgiveness that you need. It also is gonna have slightly more distance due to the loft differences. I think people who might wanna avoid this club are maybe beginners to the game of golf or people who really need a lot more help getting the ball airborne and really want more distance. This isn't a strong lofted club like some of the super game improvement clubs. If you'd like to talk to me about getting into this club or other options, go ahead and check out my profile at curated.com or click the link below in the description. And if you like this video and want more content, please hit subscribe.